Oh yeah, it's a uh, Thursday morning and I am just getting the stuff ready for breakfast for everybody, juices, supplements, pack lunches, <laughs> all of that kind of stuff, which makes for a busy morning. Um, so I started checking. I didn't film anything yesterday because I had a really busy day at work and then... Um, um, I had a busy day at work and then um, when I got home I had a load of clothes to sort out for a charity collection today and then I just did some reading so I haven't hardly done any reading. Yes, so, um, so I'm reading Akala Natives still and really enjoying it. Um, the writing style is really like my thing. And it's we've now I've just read the second and um, second chapter which was about um typical sorry it was about the sort of the weak um racist arguments that people pit towards him in the past, you know, all of the kind of um, you're anti-British, why don't you go back to where you came from, you've just got a chip on your shoulder, don't play the race card, all those kind of arguments that he keeps hearing and sort of his response to those. And um, then we've moved on to a chapter where he realises his mum was white when he was about five and then he realised that's like a, that difference between them which he'd never noticed before and uh, he talks about how he kind of, how he sort of managed that as he was growing up and also the massive um, effort that his mum made to um, to join the black community where she lived. So um, she was a single parent to him and she is white and she um, made sure he has family connections with black family members. She integrated him into the black community. She made an effort to join in with events and um, education and stuff like that. Um, that happened like uh, Sunday school, Pan African Sunday school, all different stuff like that. That she made a big effort to to help him understand his heritage and things, which I thought was really good. Um, so he's that's sort of where I'm up to at the moment. And um, today's my half day at work. Thank goodness, <laughs> work's been really busy. Um, yes, yeah, so and I can start the weekend. I'm really looking forward to that. Hi guys. So um, it's. Thursday tea time and it's the weekend. Woohoo! Um, another stressful time at work. I think I guess um, things are picking up after COVID and like more and more people are coming in again. Well, not in really. They're contacting us. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's been a bit of a stressful week. Um, so now I can chill. Um, I'm speeding. My book. I've just been um, having a little read of it while the kids watch a bit of TV. Um, I'm really enjoying it still. I'm still on chapter two, but it's now talking a little bit about um, skin colour and class. So it talks about how in certain countries, um, like Jamaica, it's quite rare to see a light-skinned person um, living in the, the poorer areas areas of um jamaica and it talks about in um brazil it talks about uh colorism there and it talks about the classifications of color in uh, slavery times and how you had to be one sixteenth or less um of uh the blood of a, a black person to be considered white and stuff like this there's all these weird rules and apparently in is it Brazil? Yeah. In Brazil, there were 500 different labels for different colour skin. So, um, yeah, talks a lot about that. And still really enjoying it and the style of writing. So I'm just going to, I've got to go and um, bath the kids, put them to bed and everything now. And then I'll get back to reading. Oh yeah, it is uh, about lunchtime on Friday um, and uh, I've been for my run, been, oh, wet hair, um, 
I have a uh, three piece. I did six K today and it felt easier than normal. I did it with like a motivational Nike running up um thing again and it, it was good. Um and then um I just got back, had a shower, got to make early lunch, having some seed from bed for lunch, and then we've got to go and get my daughter at half past twelve. I have a Zoom call with her classmates we have to do after that, and then I've got some errands to run. So I don't think it's going to be much time for reading, but I'll try and get a little bit done when I can. Um, and uh, yeah, last night I got some read, and I also read a bit of more rare parenting bit because I had to pause it for the readathon, and I'm really conscious that if I pause it, I might not go back to it. Not because I'm not enjoying it, but just because I get carried away with other things. So I've only got about 50 pages of that left as well. So um, that's what I did last night. And um, yeah, I'm going to get my lunch, do my errands, check in cook and vlog time again um this is a mushroom lentil bean kind of stew thing um i got a recipe off pinterest but i didn't have all the ingredients so i sort of adapted it a little bit um it looks nice and it's just waiting for it to thicken up and then um, we'll have that for tea and whilst it's thickening up i'm going to try and get about 20 minutes of reading done because i haven't done anything today but i have got all my errands done so that's good hello um so i've got some reading done um it's evening on friday and i've read about 40 pages of a native so i've just finished a chapter about the education system so he talked about what it was like to be a black boy at school in Britain in the late 80s and the 90s. He's very academically gifted. He was um, really into like maths and science. He was also gifted at sports and he played for West Ham youth team. Um, so he he was treated so badly by the teachers. I was so shocked. Like So things like... He was told that he was too clever and he was making the white children look bad so he shouldn't keep speaking up in class. He was told by one teacher that he could only talk, this is when he was five, he could only answer questions if the teacher pressed his magic button, which was basically the teacher jabbing a finger into his chest. And because he didn't like that, he surprisingly stopped talking in the class. Um, he had a picture of his ripped up in by a teacher because they said it wasn't up to standards. He had um he got put into a special educational needs group for children who were had difficulty with um learn difficulties because um the teachers didn't want to teach him. Um it just like unbelievable and it also sort of talked about um is it still the same today? And what they did was they looked at the grades that children had got in the classroom and compared them to the grades they got in their SATs and um, GCSEs and A-levels when they were anonymously marked, so the examiners didn't know the race of the child. And it found that white children scored 3.3... not sure if it was... I'm not sure what the scale was, but 3.3 something um, above what they scored when the papers were marked by the teachers. And black children scored excuse me the black children scored over six points higher when they were scored anonymously showing that the prejudice still exists they also talked about how when um children are tested on entry level to school black children often do better than white children and then this trend is gradually reversed throughout school because of how they are treated at school and how you know and discrimination against them in the classroom so some really interesting studies and statistics and then i've now moved on to a chapter about sport and he talks about sort of prominent black sportsmen um actually not women so far has been men um and talks about sort of different uh different things in sport really that that um have affected the black community and i haven't read that much of this chapter yet so i can't really um talk a lot about it in depth yet but i'm finding it really interesting um, i'm about a third of the way through the book now um so it's not a quick read because you have to sort of digest what's being talked about but how it's written is very um very easy for me to follow very interesting but you have to sort of pay attention to 
the the politics the statistics sociology that sort of thing but yeah still really enjoying it go have a break now watch a bit of tv have some snacks kids and um asleep so yeah just go chill and uh read a bit more later on guys it's sunday morning um i've just been for my run had a shower and um my parents come in today which is really nice because i haven't well they haven't been here since february and they normally come um every other week so it's super exciting that they're coming here and my kids are really excited and so i'm just gonna go make some lunch for them soon go and cook something and um what was i gonna say um, oh yeah, reading. So I read yesterday, I started um, Fern Cotton's book, Happy, which is my art prompt. Um, I can't take this around with me because it's a really big hardback. Uh, and so um, I thought I'd read it over the weekend because I can't carry it around with me. So um, yeah, so I only read a tiny bit of um, Natives last night. But um, I need to, I was really enjoying, um, oh, that's my chair thought, I'm really enjoying happy um it's it's yeah a really good really good book so far um it's a mix of practical exercises and playlists and all different stuff like that which is fun um i got so i got Can yeah and that me? um helped me to do some art <laughs> yesterday so anyway i'm gonna go and make some food now and i will check in later bye Monday night and um I haven't vlogged anything today because I've been at work and um my cat's right here <laughs> um um yeah I haven't read anything um I read a little bit last night not very much um and then I haven't read anything today obviously because I've been at work all day I've been really tired today, like super, super tired. So I've come to bed. Um, it's only half eight, but I'm just gonna like chill in bed and like read a bit, watch a bit of TV, get a really good night's sleep. Um, so I've been so tired. Um, that's it really. I've got a cup of tea. I've got a vegan cookie. Just time for chill snacks, whatever. Um, I'm actually gonna again tell you about what I've read, but I might just tell you tomorrow. Hello, it's um, <clears throat> it's time for Fog on My Throat. It is a uh, Tuesday afternoon. Um, I have read nothing all day. This is a great reading vlog. Um, so today I did my run this morning. 
had a bit of a tidy up, had a shower and stuff. Then I had to go to a physio appointment because I've been getting a lot of pain in my legs from running. So I just went and saw a physio, which was really helpful. And then I had to go and do the school run. Now I'm back and while I was out, a, a parcel has been delivered, which is all my new art stuff that I ordered. So I've had my Christmas money for ages because I couldn't go anywhere to spend it, basically. And now um, I signed up with Skillshare. I've been doing some new classes on art, like watercolour, calligraphy, line drawing and stuff. And I ordered a load of stuff. So I'm going to unbox now. I shall show you what I've got because I'm really excited. And at some point today... I will do some reading because I've been on my book. I'm really enjoying natives, but I've been reading it for like nearly a week, and that's not good when you've got when you're doing a readathon. So I really need to like hurry up with that. It's just I have so many things and so little time. But anyway, okay. So the first thing I've got is um these beautiful pens. So these are brush pens. Um, these are Tombow dual brush pens so um these are for the brush letter calligraphy and they've got a fine end and a brush end so very excited and a lovely range of colors there um i got a set of <coughs> a set of watercolor brushes um ranging from i think it's yeah one size one up to size 12 uh, and then I got two pens get these out so I've got these two pens there's a size two which oh um which is I can't see 0.3 millimeters and 0.5 millimeters I think or 0.4 so these are um black pens which you can paint over and things and they are water resist waterproof and so they don't they don't smudge or anything uh then i got um this blending blending um pa palette which they so say basically you can put the brush pens onto here and then you can mix it with, you spray it with water and then this acts as like um, a, a sort of a blender brush so you can make one colour blend into another. They look a bit like watercolours after you've done it. Um, and then finally I've got a set of watercolours. So I've got some Winsor & Newton colours. Um, this is a set of 36 different colours there so it's like a nice range. So I'll just open this and have a look. It comes in this little case. Have a look inside. Oh. Wow, I love they So all individually wrapped. They look really good. So very, um, very exciting. So now I've got like no excuse not to get on with all the stuff I want to learn on Skillshare. So yes, really, really happy. hi guys it's um the end of the day on tuesday now and um i've done some reading finally i just finished a chapter on british empire and slavery in natives and now it's moving on to to scotland and jamaica is the next chapter um which i think the um the one about british empire was really interesting it was about sort of the the real history of of the British Empire's part in um, mainly in abolition and how what we're told in the education system and just generally to the public is a load of crap basically and it's not really how it happened and how sort of you know single white men like um, <clears throat> William Wilberforce are sort of credited for the whole of the abolition movement and it talked a lot about Haiti and the successful rebellion in Haiti um, and how you know massive hypocrisy was had by brits when we sort of said oh yeah we're abolitionists now and you know how all the things they've done before were completely anti-abolitionist and stuff so it's really interesting and i've just been drawing again i really need to go to bed now but i've just drawn another wreath um so i'm totally loving i really love my new pens and those are the only ones i've tried out so far but yeah it's now um five to ten so it's time for me to go to bed 
do a little bit of reading, go to sleep, and um, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Actually, before I sign off, uh, this is the end of week two, so I will see you next week. Bye.